Hi folks, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Nisi. We are about to jump into the V pre-release layover drops. So we're gonna jump into Love Me Again, the official MV, and then we will get into Rainy Days. I have listened to Love Me Again, uh, but I have not checked out the music video outside of the fact that I can't avoid. <laughs> all the screen grabs that I've seen thus far. So I know he's looking stunning and sparkly, but uh, I had to wait until I could record both at the same time. Before we jump in, actually, I just wanna say, the more that I'm getting into K-pop, the more I'm realizing that maybe my preconception of what K-pop fandom is was very skewed and maybe a little bit hyper idealized in my head. And now I'm realizing it's just like any other. <laughs> community, any other group. There's toxic people, there's wonderful people, um, and there's tons of people just consistently complaining. So not hyper idealized anymore, but I've seen a lot about the comparison of the promotions of Seven versus V in the same way that I've seen a ton of comparisons of the promotions of Jimin versus Seven with J JK. I guess doesn't matter. You know, you can't when uh, someone is always going to be unhappy with something. Um, but I will say that I very much appreciated kind of seeing the different ways that these guys have chosen to work with their label and promote what they're releasing. I do think that it is in their control. Um, I do think that they're respected by Hybe. So although, you know, everyone has a right to their own opinion, I kind of feel like I just trust the guys and believe that they are making the best decisions um, that they can for their own careers. And I'm just appreciating what I get. You know, I kind of, I thought the, the, the way that V has been promoting this thus far has been very cool. I know that the um, main producer of New Jeans is who he worked with on Layover. Let me just make sure I get her, her name right. Min he Min he Jin. I have seen sort of how New Jeans has released their stuff with their most recent comeback. And it's very similar uh, in terms of it kind of coming out of nowhere and not having a ton of fanfare around the drop when it comes. I, I really like kind of love these sort of surprise drops. I do understand people kind of pointing out that not a ton of promotion has gone into it. But again, I think people are choosing what they want to do and how they want to do things. And I kind of think this is really cool. So the fact that we're going to get five we're going to get MVs. I shouldn't say five. We're going to get MVs for every single song on the album. My brain doesn't know right now if that's five or six. Just uh, my opinion that I wanted to share. Let's jump into Love Me Again. Mm. Looked very retro in the beginning there. I wonder who was singing in the back in the beginning of this. Do we know? It doesn't sound like V. Yeah, definitely not. Just gotta get the captions on, getting the ambiance again. Three, two, one. Whoa, so R&B. I love it. Oh my gosh, V. It's like immediately the sound. I just, I, I'm, I'm loving all of these guys' solo works and hearing their distinct personality. They are so good as a group, as BTS as a group, in creating songs and blending the song so that it sounds like BTS. It doesn't sound like seven different members trying to come together on something, right? They've obviously worked very hard at that. Um, and it sounds like a BTS sound, which now that we're getting their solo work, you can kind of hear the difference between something that sounds like a BTS sound and something like this, which to me is a Tay sound. This is a Tay sound. This is not anything I would ever expect to hear from BTS. And I'm just loving that they're getting to express who they are, what they love as individuals. They deserve it. They're still as dedicated as ever to the group as a whole, but they are individuals and they should be able to finally show us themselves as individuals in their success. It just sounds so richly 
R&B and to hear him sitting at these this low end for such a long period, like obviously I'll, I know what the rest of the song here sounds like, is super, super exciting. Because again, I just don't think we would hear that in a BTS song. And it's beautiful. All right, so someone has left you and they've taken the memories with you, with them. We can't let them go. One word. Mm, I wonder if that word was goodbye. The one word. Ever you regret this one. Can't let you go, let me know. Mm. Mm, stop it. That sounds so pretty. Y'all know this feeling though. You've been in love. I think about you all the time. Where are you? Who you're with? I'm lost without you. Oh, I'm hear that again. That sounds so good. Mm. Oh, I feel like we're in the 80s with this visual representation with the square TV screen, the freaking highlighted captions. Oh, you are effervescent, boo. Maybe we weren't talking about are you the only one with this feeling you're you're kind of saying it as as almost if you're asking this person you miss if you are the only one in this two-person relationship who feels this way but oof, you are definitely not alone that's for sure Mm. I just want to talk about for a second before we keep going the background so um, I read that they filmed this in Spain which <laughs> I feel like uh, Minhee Jin she she likes to take her folks to Europe because uh, I know New Jeans was also in uh, like Portugal right or Spain so this is apparently in this gorgeous cave. Could you imagine recording a video in this cave? Could you imagine the sound, the sound of this song echoing across the walls of this cave? Well, I, literally, my brain is just blown right now thinking about the fact that, like, just imagine being in this echo chamber of sound while this song is being played and V is performing. Oh, it's like a whole nother level of beauty that just got added to this, of just dreaming about being here. But what a beautiful backdrop. And I think it highlights the meaning of the song. You're in this dark, enclosed, cocooned cave. You're, you're lost, you're alone, you're sad, you're missing that person, all while you're in this dark, dark cave. It, it does really support, I think, the feel of the song too. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. It's my favorite line, Lost Without You, Baby. I'm so happy to see this blonde hair come to like this amazing fruition. It really does look great in this video with all the sparkles.
Mm. Oh, I love fun stuff like that in music videos. The volume getting turned up. It's cool. I love you, boo. Oof. Yes, V. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, I haven't heard Rainy Day. Okay. It has been called, I'm just taking this from the um, layover details on Big Hit's website. Love Me Again, a light and captivating R&B track with an alluring vibe that lingers long. V's signature baritone shines through, the, through in this track. And then... The second one we're going to get into, Rainy Days. In this track, V's voice melds beautifully with the sound of rain and everyday white noises. Oh, interesting. Okay. Tugging at the listener's heartstrings. All right. So what I was going to say is the first one, uh, Love Me Again, is very, very straight R&B. Rainy Days, just from the opening chord, sounds a lot more jazzy. So I'm excited about this one. Hmm. What does that say when you listen? You listen really carefully. Loops go wheeling. Hmm. When you listen really carefully, loops go wheeling. Loops go wheeling. Okay, interesting. I don't know what that means. Let's see if I might have an idea by the end of this. Okay, it's like you're waking up on a rainy day. Send something. I love how they're talking about white noise, but it's like, there's way more white noise. There's a complete um, amount of ambient noise happening. There's typing, there's sending messages. There's a lot more than white noise going on, that's for sure. Cozy and stuff. Like the sound of it is so, so jazzy, but once you get into the song, it is like jazzy, again, with like a nice little R&B overlay over it. So nice, <laughs> it's really, really pretty. Uh, it definitely feels like modern modern jazzy. Um, okay, I'm just interested because I just wanna show you this, this these windows. So this building, another building in Spain, this is Torres Blancas, a vertical garden city in Madrid, Spain by Francisco Javier Sanz de Oisa. And it's technically an example of like organic architecture. So just to, to quickly read from uh, amazingarchitecture.com. It was built between 1964 and 1972. It's, it's insane how long some buildings take, especially true artistic architectural buildings. It's powerful sculptural form, the expressive use of bare concrete and its experimental nature makes it an, it an iconic example of Madrid's architecture. Proposed as a vertical city with an organic emphasis, Torres Blancas is not the usual stack of flats, apartment buildings basically, but a residential complex, complex of independent housing units with garden terraces and the amenities of a small community. This building thus combines a Le Corbusier Unité d'Habitation <laughs> and, fr and Frank Lord Wright's Tower. Um, so that's extremely interesting. No, oh, rest in peace. Francisco Javier Sanez de Oisa, who passed away in 2000. It is one of the city's main 20th century architectural milestones, partly due to its quality and its widespread dissemination, both in Spain and abroad. So now I'm just like getting like they have blueprints and everything on the site. I'll put the site in the um, description if anybody is interested in it. Torres Blanca is a highly impressive and expressive sculpture presented an alternative to modernity by off offering a counter argument to it whilst embracing it. Interesting. So radical organicism, this idea of building, a, almost like building in a concrete jungle, but building 
in a way that still allows you to embrace nature. Very interesting. This ambigu ambiguous yet radical organicism with this brutalist formation was not merely an artistic image, but also a conceptual experiment fa far beyond the merely visual. I think that's what I would take away from this the most is it seems like it's very, very experimental. So I think that is what I would like to sit in this sort of idea of modernity, which I love. This is the first vibe that I got from the opening of the song in bringing your sort of traditional jazzy feeling and Im imbuing this modern R&B on top of it. So it kind of matches very well with the architecture that they are filming in um, and what they were trying to combine. Interesting. And then it makes a lot of sense, this idea of organicism with um, the sounds of nature, the sounds of the rain, right? But then also tying to this modernity where you're hearing the typing of the computer. It's, it all really connects when you think about it. I could be completely um, thinking about this from a critical lens that does not make sense at all, but that's the stuff that I would pick up on. All right, let's keep listening. Let me just pull back a little bit more. Wait, did I just miss Yontan? Yontan? Did he just run away? Yes! Chill song. Find the way right back to you. Oh, those rainy days. Ooh, okay, wait, whoa. Isn't that not freaky? Do you see how those birds are moving? Are we going backwards? That's not normal. Ooh. Talk about a, tell me this is not freaking you guys out. This V formation here, which is cool. <laughs> that's what I, <laughs> that's why I noticed it immediately because it's a very cool way, again, of like showing nature, but hinting to V in his name. But they're moving backwards. We fly following the leader, the point, right? <laughs> we don't fly with two separate branches. That would be awkward for birds. Interesting. Okay, so this is almost like it's being run backwards. Which is also interesting. It kind of ties to the where it said cozy and stuck. It's kind of what I feel about this like backwards flying of birds. My phone, my cage, hoping for your call lately. I've been on my own, maybe. Isn't it an man? Dang, these buildings are crazy though. So amazing. Haven't changed the still the same. Easy feeling. Oh, haven't changed. I'm still the same. Time with you is so amazing. Just want to look at these lyrics again. Okay. What's now behind us? Dang boy, it's a lot of sugar. <laughs> Even Yontan is like, what? smile on this rainy day remember how i used oh, to wow. make the most i mean i was not even prepared for these scary heads but just look at his eye like just the glisten 
in his eye. Makes it so real. Oh my gosh. It looks like a little fat teardrop is just about to plop right out of here. Oh. I love where the song is going. Oh, it says layover. Don't tell me it's over. We can start it over. None and I make clover. Yeah, I can feel your touch. I remember you can. I mean, just like, just even the idea, again, I might be just thinking too much into this, but this idea of, right, like starting with these molds of clay to like turning to this completely like metallic, I just feel like this idea of classic into modern is all over this video. And I can feel it in the song. Oh, I like that. You're my four leaf clover. You bring me luck. Hardiness of this video is great. Oh, it's like you're making a little alien. I'm gonna say, are we talking about the perfect symmetry of this man's face? Because we know that that's real. <laughs> I know that's all we're talking about. <laughs> but that's what I think about when I see this. Yes, this man is perfectly beautiful. Yes, graph it. Mm, hi, little alien. Back to the ambient sounds. Mm, let's just like talk about the beautiful water reflection on the ceiling. Just again, concrete to organic. Concrete to organic. I see it. I see it. You chose the place. I feel it in the music and I see it in everything you're putting out. See how it looks like like a pool, like water reflecting on the ceiling. Wow. Oh, love this. Love this little 80s. How they end every single one like this. Oh my gosh, it's so good, guys. It's so, 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 so good. I cannot wait wait for the rest of this album. I cannot believe we are so blessed, so blessed to be getting so many music videos. So there's only going to be more to come. I will be sharing that with you guys. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe. It does help me out. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!